Oh, hello guys. Yes, as you can see, I am back to the new Ubuntu. This is 23.10. I just wanted to make a quick update and see how the Steam is going to work this time. But unfortunately, well, it's the same. It installs. It prompts to install the NVIDIA drivers needed for the system. And then when you try to launch the game, well, it's not happening. So basically what I did to fix this, it's not really a fix, but it's a go around. And I'll show you a little quick in this video. So let's get to it. Okay, so basically what I did is the same thing I did in the last video. If you haven't seen it, I'll make sure I leave it in the description down below so you can watch it. I'm not gonna go through all that. But basically, just as usual, I installed the Steam version, uh, the Snap version of Steam. I launched it, installed the needed dependencies for the NVIDIA drivers and it start launching the Steam properly but the problem is when you try to launch any of your games well it's not happening for some reason I don't know why so I'm not gonna go and investigate so much this time I just <laughs> I just came back to the original, so I gave up on the snap version. For some reason, it's not working on my hardware, maybe. So I uninstalled it. So instead, I went to the official Steam page, download the .dep file that they provide from the install here. Went to the snap store and just look for the dep package this is the one you need the gdb package installer this is a debian package it's not a snap so just click here i have already installed it this is all you need to do after that when you have already download the steam.dep package just launch the gdb And it's this little cute program that I really like, especially for this kind of situations. Now go to the open, navigate to where you have downloaded the Steam. Just open it. It's gonna have a install package here. As you can see, I have already done that. So that's okay. And now the Steam should be installed and ready to go. When you first start in, uh, when you first start Steam, it's gonna ask you through the terminal to install a few more dependencies, and after that everything works as it should. And I'll show you a little quick that some of my games in this case the elder scrolls online that it's launching and playing really good so that's what i'm here that's why i gave up on ubuntu last time this time i'm gonna try and run it for a little bit longer and see how i'm gonna like it one little quick note though <laughs> the wayland version with Ubuntu it's not the greatest, I don't know why, but it feels a little bit choppy, especially when I try to play some of my games. But anyway, <laughs> I will go to X11 maybe. So anyway, as you can see, this starts and launch the game. Oops. Okay, <laughs> I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but while I was explaining how Wayland it's not working correctly for me, and my system crashed and walked me out, so now we are back on X11, 
and hopefully this will work better so let's try this one more time and launch the Elder Scrolls online I, I don't know what's happening I guess Ubuntu does not like my system <laughs> so anyway let's see what's gonna happen yes it's launch it's launching correctly all right okay so that's all i wanted to show you today guys as you can see the game starts and runs uh, good so this is how i go around my steam problem from the previous previous video it's not really a fix i just went back to the roots if you may say that so if you have the same issue as i am this is one way you can go around the snap version and install the .dev package from the official Steam page and run all your lovely Steam games. So anyway, I'm gonna leave you now. If you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them down in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!